The following is an ESG video brief. Hello, and welcome to this ESG Insight video brief. Over the next few minutes, I'll be reviewing the benefits of a modern mainframe data protection strategy powered by DASD Backup Supervisor from Rocket Software. Before we take a look at some of the latest mainframe data protection best practices, let's take a quick look at the IT priorities that are driving your peers to rethink how they do mainframe backups. ESG's annual IT spending intention survey indicates that risk management and cost reduction are the top two business initiatives that are driving the most IT spending. And improving data protection and managing data growth are amongst the top five IT initiatives. Mainframe backup administrators and their managers can align with these initiatives by investing in technologies that reduce the cost and complexity of mainframe backup while minimizing the risks associated with mainframe application data loss. ESG research also indicates that the bulk of the IT budget is spent on keeping the lights on instead of new projects that deliver a competitive advantage to the business. Investing in mainframe backup and recovery modernization is one way that you can shift that ratio and become more strategic to the business. Let's take a look at some of the best practices that can be used to reduce the complexity and the risk associated with mainframe data protection. A quick assessment of the people and the processes associated with mainframe backup and recovery operations is a great place to start. The success of any IT project relies on a combination of people, processes, and technology. Training and professional development is a good strategy for improving the effectiveness and the job satisfaction of your mainframe backup and recovery team. Reviewing escalation procedures and succession plans for key employees reduces risk for you and your organization. Here are some of the key performance indicators that you should be measuring and ideally improving as you modernize your mainframe backup and recovery operations. How long does it take to run a managed backup job? How many restore requests do you handle during a typical week and how long do they typically take? How many data sets and how big are the data sets associated with a typical restore? How often do you perform disaster recovery drills and how much time does it take for your team? What are your recovery time objectives or how long it should take to complete a restore request? What are your recovery point objectives or how much time or data can be missed after a typical restore request? What's the capex associated with mainframe backup and recovery? For example, the cost of the tape hardware and the media? And finally, what are the opex costs, including a manpower estimate and the costs associated with tape transport and vaulting? Let's take a quick look at some of the best practices that can be used to improve each and every one of these key performance indicators. Automation that reduces complexity is one of the simplest ways to improve efficiency. For example, Automation that reduces the amount of time associated with editing legacy JCL or REC scripts is a great way to improve efficiency. Automation that helps detect new DASD volumes can also help improve the efficiency of the backup administrator. Optimizing dataset restore requests with technology and process improvements is a great best practice, especially compared to manually pulling datasets out of a scratch volume after a full volume recovery. Integrating your backup processes with disk array-based snapshot technology, like IBM Flash Copy, reduces the length of your backup window. Upgrading backup and recovery hardware adds upfront costs, but these costs are often offset by significant efficiency improvements and savings in time. Take, for example, the latest library technology from IBM, the TS-1150. Storing more than 10 terabytes per cartridge and more than 500 petabytes in a single library, it's 150% more capacity efficient and 44% faster than the previous generation. Tape stacking is another great way to increase the efficiency of your mainframe backup infrastructure. Tape stacking optimizes the number of volumes stored on each cartridge with the goal of filling the tape as full as possible and making recovery operations run as fast as possible. Tape stacking reduces the number of cartridges you need to buy and the cost of tape transport, especially if you're using a third-party remote tape vaulting service. Remote tape backup uses a tape library to a secondary data center that's connected to a remotely mirrored storage array. This is a best practice that reduces the amount of data loss after a disaster at a primary site. It also reduces the cost and risks associated with handling and transporting tapes. Remote disk mirroring between two disk arrays located in different data centers is a great best practice for disaster recovery and for remote tape backup, but is not a best practice by itself for backup and recovery. Mirroring replicates errors in corrupted data and it makes it hard to restore an individual data set. DASD Backup Supervisor from Rocket Software is a state-of-the-art mainframe backup and recovery solution that supports all these best practices. ISPF with automated JCL support simplifies the job for backup admins and it reduces the risk of data loss for the business. It automates the detection of new DASD volumes and it integrates with disk-based snapshot technologies from IBM, EMC, and HDS. It supports tape stacking, 
and selective data set level restores. This table summarizes the benefits of modernizing your mainframe backup and recovery operations with DASD Backup Supervisor and an optional tape hardware infrastructure upgrade. The benefits can be simply summarized as less complexity, lower costs, shorter backup windows, and faster restores with less risk. If you'd like to learn more, check out the website and download the ESG white paper at rocketsoftware.com.